So I know in a lot of movies, hot tubs are like the most romantic places to do the devil's tango. But when it's a public pool, well, that kind of hits differently. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this is legal, so none of you guys should be doing this in the first place. Fair warning to all users, don't do what I do. Do the exact opposite, or maybe even better. But in this case, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyways, guys, before we get into the story, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Seriously, means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, did I mention I am live on YouTube as we speak, streaming and telling you guys crazy stories just like this one. Links in the description down below, and as well as make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I'm the hottest guy alive. Like, seriously, I'm more attractive than probably anyone you've ever seen in the entire world, even Ryan Reynolds. Other than that, let's get straight into this crazy story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So this story takes place, actually, funny enough, around winter break. Uh, winter break was coming up in our school, and I'm not gonna lie, during winter break, a lot of kids have a lot of plans. For example, some go for the holidays out, some people just go out and party, but me and the boys, we had nothing planned. Now, it sucked that we didn't have anything planned, because usually we would, but honestly, most of us just said, yo, let's just stay home, play Call of Duty, bro. Let's just grind out some gold weapons. And in my mind, I thought that was kind of weird. I wanted to do more than just play Call of Duty, so I decided to talk to my friends in planning on vacation for each other. So I remember we all got together a week before winter break started, and we basically planned to go on vacation together and basically go to a place called the Hot Springs. Hot Springs is somewhere down here in Vancouver, Harrison Hot Springs to be exact. And basically, there's like really nice hot tubs there that are also drenched in snow. It's just a nice place to relax, chill out, and basically have a good vacation. So me and my friends all pitched in to go on this vacation. We booked a hotel and everything, and I want to say one week later, we ended up going on vacation. My friend ended up getting his dad's car, a big white van, and basically we all sat in it and started driving down there. Really suspicious, I know, but don't worry. It didn't look like a really a kidnapping van. Anyways, going on with the story, we all ended up going basically all the way there. We drove for almost an hour and a half, and when we got there, it was actually really nice. There was a nice beach, there was a lot of bars, and on top of that, there was like really cool places to go hang out and just chill. I remember the first day, me and the boys, we ended up just going on the beach, hanging out, and you know, getting a little wasted. By the way, underage drinking is not a good idea. And also just enjoying ourselves and having a good time at the hotel and basically chilling out. But towards the nighttime, I remember I looked out my window and I ended up seeing a hot tub surrounded by snow because it was winter as well. So I remember when I saw this hot tub, I went up to my buddies and I said, yo guys, like check this out. I ended up pointing out the hot tub to them and they're all like, yo bro, this is awesome. Yo dude, we should actually go in there. Dude, let's go chill in the hot tub, bro. And as we were saying that, we all agreed that the next day we're going to go chill at the pool and basically go hang out because there was a pool, but there was also a hot tub. I should probably mention that as well. Anyways, going on, the next day happened and we ended up kind of sleeping in because, well, let's be real here. When you get a little wasted, you get wasted. And basically, we ended up waking up late, you know, with a bit of a headache, but we decided to kind of shrug it off and basically start enjoying our vacation. I remember we ended up waking up. We went for a little walk around the beach. And when we were walking around the beach, we ended up realizing that as we were walking back towards the hotel, we saw some very attractive and I mean hot girls in swimsuits literally walking back towards the hotel that we were in. We thought that they maybe went to a different hotel and were visiting, but they ended up actually having the same hotel as us. So I remember when we were walking back and we saw them, we started like kind of going near them saying, hey, look, what's going on? Like, you guys go to this hotel? They looked at us and kind of like laughed. And one of the girls was like, uh, yeah, like we're just kind of like here for, on vacation, you know, winter break. And these girls were like really hot. Like if I can explain how hot they were, like, you know, we're talking about the whole cherries and, you know, peaches, shebang. They had it all. So I remember I basically told one of them, hey, so like, you know, like we're going swimming later. If you want to go, like we can, like, I, I really don't mind. Like I got nothing to do. So, you know, if you want to go, like, you know, it'll be pretty cool. By the way, I said that in the most awkward way possible. I'm not going to lie. I could have said it a lot better, but at the same time, I still kind of had a headache, I guess. So I remember one of the girls ended up saying, oh, like, yeah, sure. Like what time are you guys going? And I remember all the boys pulled out their phones to get their Snapchat so we could basically all communicate with each other. So each one of us chose a girl and basically we ended up choosing which one we liked the most. Yes, we had a little group discussion before actually walking up to them who we liked the most. And we ended up getting their Snapchats and started heading over back to the hotel room. When we got to the hotel room, all the boys were excited. I remember so many of us were like, ooh, 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 girls, girls, girls. Like we were all hyped up and excited to go. Trust me, if you guys have been to the boys locker room, you guys would understand what I'm talking about. Anyways, we were all excited and I remember we all got dressed and put, started putting on our swimsuits. And when we did, we started instantly heading out and texting the girls on Snapchat. Hey, like we're going to like the pool right now. Like we'll see you there. And right as we started walking towards there, we already saw the girls already at the pool, chilling out, laying down. Yeah, this was vacation. Is what I thought in my mind. And I remember we all started hanging out at the pool that the hotel had. And there was a really nice swim pool. We started playing volleyball. We played chicken. That's right. I had a girl on my shoulders in her swimsuit. And we had the whole awesome time. But 
But now this is where things get kind of crazy. I remember some of the girls decided to go back early to the hotel rooms because my buddies were like all hanging out with them and stuff. So the, some of them left early. But me and my other buddy, we ended up staying a bit longer because let's just say the chicks we liked wanted to stay longer as well. We we're all chilling out, hanging out in the pool. And then one of the girls says, hey, like, want to go inside the hot tub? Like, it's kind of getting cold in here. So we ended up getting up and going to the hot tub. When we got to the hot tub, I remember we all basically sat down and started talking about life and stuff. And then I remember for some odd reason, this was super awkward, but at the same time, very obvious that the two girls looked at each other and basically started like kind of shaking their head and nodding and then giggling. And then one of the girls ended up saying to my buddy, hey, like, do you want to like go to the sauna with me? I kind of like looked at him and then she looked at me and then after I looked at my buddy and my buddy's like, oh uh, yeah, sure. Like, let's go. So they ended up leaving the hot tub and it was just me and this girl and no one else. It was super awkward. I remember me and her, we looked at each other and she realized that she had to make the first move because God knows I wasn't doing it in a public place like a hot tub. And then she instantly started coming near me, started, you know, jumping side to side and then basically ended up landing right beside me. I put my arm around her and let's just say, yeah, we started making out in the hot tub. As we were making out though, I remember it was super funny because she ended up putting her hand on my thigh and let's just say one thing led to another. We ended up doing the devil's tango in the hot tub, literally in the hot tub. We were just doing it. And in my mind, I was like freaking out and I'm like, okay, this is definitely not legal in so many ways. And I was just kind of weirded out. So I remember I basically kind of just like started panicking and started speed running it, which I don't know what that means in most people's minds, but I speed ran it. Okay. And let's just say, I remember out of nowhere, like 10 minutes in, I just hear someone walking behind us. And at first I didn't want to like make any movements. But then after that, the girl decided to moan really loudly out of nowhere. And let's just say it was super embarrassing because I ended up seeing a lifeguard right behind us. And she looks at us saying, um, okay, you guys need to stop right there. Right as she says that, dude, this girl hopped off me so quick and sat down. Like it was the fastest thing I've ever seen. And I pulled up my pants as fast as I could. And basically I remember she looked at me. I looked at the lifeguard. She looked at the lifeguard and the lifeguard told us, yeah, okay, um, I'm gonna have to give you guys a warning for that. You guys cannot be doing that here. We're in a hotel. You guys can go back to your hotel rooms, do whatever you want in there, but not in the hot tub. You understand me? We ended up looking at each other and we're like, yeah, like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to. Like, it was, it was just a mistake. Kind of explaining myself of what happened. And I remember it was so embarrassing because right out the window, when I looked up at my friends of the hotel room we were in, they were all staring me down with their girl that they originally liked. Yeah. So imagine two boys and two girls girls just staring down out a window when you were doing the devil's tango with a girl in the hot tub. Like what in the world, bro? I should have gotten paid for that. Anyways, that ended up happening and it was super embarrassing because once I got back to the hotel room, the girls instantly ran out of the hotel room laughing and basically I ended up going in there and all the boys were basically clapping their hands as if I did like a super accomplishment when in reality, it was just pure embarrassment. I remember for the rest of the vacation, they didn't really talk about what happened, which I mean, thanks to them, it made the vacation kind of better. But at the same time, I remember on the way driving back home, one of my buddies asked me, bro, like, just tell me, was it your idea or hers to do that? And I legit said, bro, at this point, I don't even know. And let's just say when we got back home on Xbox, that's when all the smack talk started happening. Like I'm talking about, Bubba did it in a pool. Bubba did it in a hot tub. Like it was just back to back yelling. Honestly, it's Xbox. But at the end of the day, you know what? I had a good vacation. Anyways, guys, that's basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It usually means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, not to mention, once again, I am live on Bubba Gaming. So make sure you guys go check out that channel. Also, did I mention that I'm the hottest guy on earth? So follow me on Instagram. If not, you're ugly. No one cares about you. Anyways, guys, like I always say, follow for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys. My name is Bubba. I'm still on top of the world. Devil's taking with your mother. Of course, let's go. Should I make it a story? Let's click record. Got that TikTok with two mil. Hit different with some more. She said she loved me. She kept. Should I exit for sure? I got a hundred K for my life's work. So mama said bravo.